Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video about what's in my travel makeup case. Um, I have been, I'm up in Scotland and I'll be here for probably another week and a half. I don't know when I'm posting this actually, but in total I'll probably be here for about two and a half weeks. So this is more than I would have for like a weekend getaway and I never understand when I see these videos by other beauty gurus and they just have like massive bags full of makeup. Like that's ridiculous. I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's, I sh it's excessive, I don't need all this, but I feel that way about makeup in general. So let's just get on with the video because I thought this might be interesting. These are really popular on YouTube, so people like them. This bag is from Primark. I don't like Primark. I say that in every video, but I always show things from Primark. It's really embarrassing. Okay, this isn't in order because it's in a bag and it's messy. But first I have, this is an e.l.f. Um, palette that is just empty. I don't actually have any e.l.f. shadows. I just have the palette because I use them for MAC shadows. Way. So um, this right here is Naked Lunch, and that's my all over lid color for every day. Um, I will eventually do an everyday makeup tutorial thing, but it's awkward. I don't like filming tutorials, but um, I'll try and do it one day. But this is Orb, and I use it to blend out colors as well as a highlight, things like that. This is Omega Crease Color, and this is, oh, it's even called, it's my brow color. I use it for my brows, and it's called Swiss Chocolate. So that's kind of my everyday. I wear these every single day, basics. Things like that. I don't have a naked palette or anything like that. I love MAC shadows and I've had these for years so I just continue to use those. Next thing here is Solar Powder by Soap and & Glory and it's a bronzer and a highlight kind of thing. I really like this. I recently got it. I haven't used it too much. I'm wearing it today but I don't know if you can tell. Primark Eyelash Curler. Uh, I have all my brushes next. That'll be fun, right? So all of my brushes pretty much are Sigma. This is the Sigma 168. I think I saw somewhere that they changed the brushes. These are a few years old. They're also dirty because I'm using them while I'm up here. <laughs> Sorry. This is just like an angled brush, blush brush, heh, and I use it for the solar powder. This is a giant blending brush and it's the SS224. Really like that. Shader brush and it is the 239 by Sigma. This is a matte brush. Actually, it's the 217, which is like the best brush in existence. Oh, everyone talks about it, I'm sure. Another dirty one, use it for my crease. This is my favorite brush because I don't like foundation. I don't like putting it on, but this makes it okay and this makes it easy. It's the MAC 130 and it's just a small stippling brush. Use it for my foundation. Simple. This is a concealer brush by Bare Essentials. It's called the Max Coverage Concealer Brush. And this, I have no idea where I got this. I took it from my mom. I use it for my brows because it's, it's supposed to be a... a uh, I think it's supposed to be a liner brush, but it's really bristly and harsh, but it fills in my eyebrows really well, because I do, I am blonde naturally, so I have to fill in my eyebrows a tiny bit to make it match my, my red, my red hair. So that's that. I think I have more brushes. They're just kind of buried in the bag. This is the eyeliner I like to use lately. I used to use, um, I have the fluid lines in here, which I'll show you in a minute, but I quite like this one because it's simple and I don't, I haven't liked using a lot of eyeliner, but this is MAC, this Teddy by MAC, Eyecole eyeliner thing. Got some eye drops by Boots. My foundation, which is MAC Pro Lawn Wear um, SPF foundation in NC15 because I'm super pale. I'm actually more of an NW15, but this kind of cancels out more redness in my face. So that's why I use this. Um, it actually looks darker here than I am, but it does match quite well. And I don't wear a lot of foundation and I don't wear it every day. NW15 um, Moisture Cover Concealer by MAC. Topshop cream blush. It's neon rose. It's really, really nice. I wear it every day. This is the NARS um, primer base, smudge proof eyeshadow base. It's really soft, really like it, and I use that every day. Got some of those iron pills I mentioned in my favorites video. <laughs> Rosebud Salve. This is my favorite stuff in the world. I have some nail polishes, which I wouldn't normally take when I travel, but because I knew I was just staying with someone, it's not a huge deal. I have just a, a top coat by Rimmel, I think. Um, two Berry M ones. One is what I'm wearing right now, which is Pink Flamingo, and then Peach Melba. Uh, always, always talking about that one. I have a blue eyeliner for fun times. This is Float on Top by MAC, and it was in the To the Beach collection, but I think it comes out every now and then, or it might be permanent. I don't know, but it's gorgeous, and I love playing around with it when I am going places. My mascara is Boxum Lash by Bare Essentials. I need a new one. I'm gonna get one this summer. But look at it, it's so rubbed off. But favorite, favorite uh, mascara. Here's another brush. This is my angled brush by Sigma. It's the 266, use that for fluid line. Here's lip gloss by MAC, it's Pink Lemonade. I do use a lot of MAC, I quite like, like MAC. Um, 
because it's a lot cheaper in the States. I haven't bought MAC really at all since I've been here, if I'm honest. This is Viva Glam Nikki, which is fairly new. My mom sent me this. And oh yeah, bright pink. That's a lot of fun. This is a, in case I need to darken anything up, I don't know if I'm doing anything on a wall, at all while I'm here. Brought a dark eyeshadow. It's MUA in shade 11. Just like a dark, kind of reminds me of satin taupe, less purpley, but still nice. I have black track and uh, dip down MAC fluid lines, which are eyeliners. And yeah, I haven't worn those in ages actually, which is really bad. MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is a base under eyeshadow. I use that a lot. I love it. I love it. This is one of my holy grail products, I think. One of the last things I have here is this eyeshadow palette that I got in a glossy box, my first glossy box. And it just has loads of colors and it has some blushes too, actually. I forgot about that. Um, I don't really use this, but I thought maybe if I wanted colored eyeshadow while I'm here, I'd just toss this in for funsies. It's by Blink and Go. Really great pigmentation. Never actually worn them because I don't wear colored eye eyeshadows very much. So that's fun. Two more things. I have Everhip by MAC. This is from the Liberty of L London collection. And it's like a coral color. And the final thing is a tender tone. You saw that coming, didn't you? It's purring. It's the orange one. And yeah, everything else in here is like hair ties and um, pins, hair pins. I hope this is mildly interesting. It was really long, I'm sorry, but you know, whatever. If you care, then there's some um, stuff that you can watch with your eyeballs. I'm so sorry. I'm really out of it right now. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>